This airport is really nice. This place feels like a jungle in the middle of nowhere. But you guys guessed it, we're actually in Ecuador. And I don't see a lot of like running electricity. I definitely have mosquitoes. Yeah. Mosquito bites. Okay, little one. He's like, I don't want to leave now. Quick update. Say hello, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. We're in a, we're in like a, a hut. We're in a hut. In a, the beach, like a, a beach hut. Like seriously, a hut. We're in a hut and there's like nothing here. Um, they very kindly fixed the light because the light wasn't it like was flickering but otherwise this is like the only place that looks like it has electricity this is all it's, it's a hut in 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 a random beach and they don't have credit cards or anything anywhere and we made the mistake of coming to a small beach uh kind of surfing tourist town in the low season in the off season so yes. most of everything was closed Everything is closed, there's like no food, there's no electricity, like there's no lights, like you don't see anything oh, on. Look, a spider. Oh, it's, oh, cool. It's a daddy one, like it's not a big deal. <laughs> and um, there's absolutely no place here that takes credit card. Nope. So, None. There were, so, so we did find some places that were open, like drugstore, like tiny little, and everything looks like a hut in the middle of a garbage town. And it's just like, yeah, there's absolutely no place that takes credit card. No. There, Zero. Yeah. So, uh, how long do you think we'll make it here? I don't know. We should ask your viewers how long they think we'll make it for. They don't know. We don't know either. They're... <laughs> well... It's going to be challenging. I guess, I guess the question is, are we going to rise to the challenge? I'm already itchy and I got a bunch of mosquito bites. <laughs> and my feet are soggy. Oh, and everything's wet and everything's muddy. Like you need rain boots. Like you need you can't, rain boots. Yeah, you can't have normal shoes. Everything's covered in mud. Our shoes are outside covered in mud. There's probably having a bunch of like wildlife crawling into it. Snakes and spiders. Yeah. And and, and here's the thing. We're not on vacation. Like we're, we're working. Yep. No, we're not surf bums. Like we're not we, surf bums. We need to work every day, so. Yeah, but maybe. Do you think I should take up surfing? All right, this is the upstairs section, where we're gonna sleep inside a net, because there's just like 
a whole bunch of little creepy crawlies like crawling all over the bed. What? What did I say? There's creepy crawlies crawling all over the bed. Yeah. There are. No, no, they're just crawling on the net. Oh, just on the net. Yeah. So we just look at them while we're sleeping at night. Yeah. Okay, cool. But at least it'll be quiet and we'll get to hear the waves. That's very true. Okay, ready for our expedition. So in case it doesn't look like it, this is a bus stop. <laughs> We're gonna take a bus to the next town over so we can find cash. So we can find ATM machine. Hopefully they have an ATM machine and we'll be able to pay people stuff in cash because we have a few coins to get us there. town over to find an ATM and maybe a credit card machine so that we can buy shit and eat. What were you expecting about the town that we were staying in versus what we actually got? I expected it to be more vacationy. More vacationy? Yeah. And more catered to gringos because everything is in US dollars yep. and is like written in English. Yep. And all the pictures are blonde beach bums. So I was like, okay, it's gringo y. Yay. <laughs> and it's overpriced. For what it is, yeah. For this region, it's overpriced for the region. It's still cheap. It's still, it's still very cheap compared to the US. Yeah. But for the region that we're in it's very very expensive for like and so we we're like oh it's gonna be a bunch of gringos and it's gonna be a beach town <laughs> it is we're gonna find the charming things about it we'll find out why why it's so expensive even though there's like nothing there these buildings are all abandoned what the fuck Every building is abandoned. If we get attacked by seagulls, who's gonna get hit first? One well, taller. <laughs> I guess it depends on who's holding the food. This place is a junkyard. A fishing economy, clearly, by what's in front of us. Oh, yeah, it has a bunch of boats. And the tourism is secondary. Yeah, I don't see any tourists. Yeah, the tourists is secondary industry, fishing is first. So, supporting the local fishing industry is kind of what these towns are catered to, and less so tourism. Interesting. So, it's a fishing town. On the beach. Show them. Cool. Clean your house of bad energy. I am having trouble adjusting. Guys, this is our hospital in case we die. You can find us here. We're, we're trying to lift our spirits. We're really, really, really trying. It's kind of hard. Everything is like overpriced for gringos. And but muddy. 
It's muddy. It's not worth it. It's the mud. It's the mud that's getting to me. Oh, the mud. <laughs> it's like this and it's muddy at the same time. It's like things suck, but they suck in the mud. Like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I just stepped on. And the thing is that there's also dogs, so you can't tell if you stepped in mud or poop. Yeah. But there's the ocean right there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This is why people are here. This is why the beach bums live here. Look how pretty some of these rocks are. It's so bright blue. things that I like about Ecuador so far. It's quiet, it feels safe and nice, it feels peaceful. Um, things I don't like, obviously it's, a, you know, kind of soul to gringos. Like all the people that come here are gringos with cash. Like I was talking to the taxi driver on the way here, he was like, it's all green, it's all uh, older Americans that come with cash and stuff. And like. So it's not a very integrated economy, but, and also they don't use credit cards, but we'll see more. There's like still a lot more to see and might change our minds. That's cool. Andrew's opening a bottle of wine. So that this uh, slow internet situation and whatever other situation could be a little more bearable. Did not spare a whole lot of skin. My gosh. So another thing is that we went for a walk because we're like, okay, this everything is so expensive yoga costs is yoga they have a one yoga studio and it's more expensive than like yoga in the u.s so we're like okay we're not gonna like get involved in any other shit we're not gonna get too much in, you know we're not gonna get too abused by the economy here we're gonna get uh our own yoga mats and they're like so we go around looking for yoga mats and the lady in the shop is like, well, there's no yoga mats in this entire town. If you want to do yoga, you should go to the yoga studio and take their yoga classes. And it's like... It's a yoga cartel. It's a yoga cartel! It's like, dude, okay, they have a few gringos that come here from New York. And they, they built their entire city's, like, economy around those people. And it's like, dude, that is, like, really overpriced. That's why they call it a tourist trap. It's a it's a tra it's a tourist trap and like we fell right into it. Yeah, because I mean it's because of the it's because the place is cheap. We're, the place we're staying in is cheap. It's so the, so and it's like a lot of these little beach huts and stuff like that and it's like it's it's cheap and it's close by like it's close to a lot of other things you know. And it's, it's like this beach, you know, it's cool. And so we're like, okay, staying in a beach hut in this place is cool, but everything around it is so expensive and it's not even... So honestly though, the beach hut is actually really cool. It you is guys, very cool. Maybe you should show them to you later, but like, I love the way it's built. And it's very cute. It is cute, so. And it's peaceful. It is. Except yeah. For, except for the dogs fighting this morning. Yeah, it was cute though. That was cute. But yeah, so far, anything else you've noticed about Ecuador compared to Colombia? The, 
price. Um, the price of food? Yeah, bet. yeah, price of food. It's just so expensive, and it, it, it's all according to the U.S. dollar. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it feels very different in Colombia. Like, I can't put my finger on it. I think the vegetation feels different. Um, the wildlife feels a little bit different, too. Um, there, like, there's big, huge, giant birds. I think they're all vultures, but I think there might be other, like, kind of raptors and stuff in there, too. Okay. Yeah, like, look at that big, huge one over there. Tail or something. Which one? Yeah, it's going out over the beach, but... That guy right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. They're more strict about rules. Like the cab drivers make you wear seatbelts. Um, everybody charges very consistently. Like they're not trying to like fool you or uh, upsell you. Like they have little charts of like what the fares are between towns. In the airports and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like it's more regulated. So, I don't know. It feels like an economy though that's catered to a US audience. And it's like, the cool thing about cheaper countries is that they're not catered to U.S. audience. They're catered. They're that's why they're cheaper. Yeah. They're not catered to Americans, so that's why we've. I mean, they're not catered to Americans, but they get really excited when you're American, and they kind of like go above and beyond for you, which is cool. And the other thing too is, I think it's a slow season right here for tourism. So, I kind of have a feeling that. The, on season like that it's this, this town is cooler more cute i have a feeling that everybody's like taking a break right now and going on vacation and we're just kind of left a little ghost town so yeah it's fine yeah it's fine i'm being grumpy right but it's fine because we're gonna have some wine right right now and it's gonna get a lot better burro yeah it's a donkey my camera's acting weird can we go near it? We can try it. See what happens. Andrew is getting very close to the donkey and it's making me nervous. Is that a horse actually? I think it's a horse. It's kind of like in the Bible, like not don't fuck with another man's whore, but thou shalt not cover covet thy neighbor's wife. Yes, but that's different than don't fuck with another man's whore. Whore, horse. <laughs> don't fuck with another man's whore, hey. Whore, hey. Okay, another reason why I don't like Ecuador. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is gonna end once this wine cup is finished. Once this is finished, I will stop complaining. But another reason why I like Ecuador as a concept, like I like their whole citizenship program, and I like their, like, whole whatever. I don't like Ecuador as a place to visit, really, because you can't, they don't really have, like, a, they, they I mean, they do have a credit economy in other places, but in general, it's like, and there were some places in Colombia that were like that too, that it was like, all right, like cash only. You can only buy things in cash. This entire town is a cash town. Maybe it's why I don't like this town. Paying things in cash, especially as a travel, is expensive and difficult. Like if you have to travel to another town every single time you want to use the ATM in order to take cash out, in order to be in this town, like that's not only expensive, it's time consuming. And money now is more, expensive and money later that's the time value of money and it's like if you're like me and you're not really liquid because your money is kind of like all going right back into real estate like you're not you're not really working with a lot of cash you need to use your credit card that's really frustrating it really does feel like this was built this economy the way it's structured is built for people that are looking to spend just like cash and it's like, that's how it was in, in Colombia. People were like, like, well, what's the difference between card and cash? It's like, no, there's a huge difference. I 
just so cool. About to say something offensive. Say it. I'm not about to say something offensive. No. Oh. I'm a very sweet and innocent man. I never say anything offensive. Well, what were you about to say? I won't get. I won't get upset. I was about to be very supportive. Supportive of women. Hashtag supportive of women. <laughs> of your reproductive organs. What were you about to say? <laughs> Why are you filming this? Because this is... she's had two glasses of wine. No, this is... Oh, who's calling? Ooh, John. 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 Yeah. Answer, answer. Hey, what's up? Hey, I, I just left... Uh... <laughs> Our drinking water. <laughs> okay, so we do actually need to take this cap off. Hold on a second. Nice. <laughs> so, like, the water here isn't safe for drinking, right? I would not assume so. It's like every t time we finish our drinking water, they're going to bring us, like, a new one of these. Mm-hmm. Cute. Cool. Maybe it'll work with more water in it this time. Nice. Cool. We can drink as much water as we want now. 